Uh, now recognize the gentleman from South Carolina, Mr. Gowdy. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, good morning to all of our witnesses. Uh, Ms. Barr, you previously testified that uh, the former secretary's uh, email arrangement with herself was not acceptable. Those are the words you use, not acceptable. Um, what made it not acceptable to you? Um, I thought that uh I know that in my oral statement today, I was talking about it. Our backlogs were not acceptable, um, but I think that uh, in my former uh, testimony that was being asked if I thought in general it was okay to use a, if any employee would use a private email account. Right. No, you're exactly right. It was in response to a question when you testified before the Senate. Uh, and I'm sure uh, the circumstances were, um, it was it okay to exclusively use personal email with which to conduct public business? And you used the phrase, not acceptable. So I'm not asking about the backlog. I'm asking about the exclusive use of personal email with which to conduct public business. What makes it not acceptable? What we want to make sure that we do uh, under the Federal Records Act is to capture official records so that they are available to be a uh, history of what we do and how we come to those decisions. Um, we don't like for records to be separated from the agency. So we were very pleased to have these records back in our possession so that they're part of our collection and that we can make them available to the public. Do, do you recall why uh, former Secretary Clinton said she um, availed herself of a personal server and used exclusively personal email? Do, do you recall the explanation given? Or have you been given an explanation for why she uh, went that route? Um, I can't speak to that authoritatively. Uh, my understanding is that the Secretary uh, said that she did it as a matter of convenience. And you know I what? I don't know that uh, personally. So. Well, that's my understanding too, um, in part because that's what she said. I, I, I guess my next question would be, if it was solely for convenience, why not return the records the day you separated from the State Department? I have no information on that. Sir. Has she provided any explanation for why she retained care, custody, and control of those public records for almost two years after she separated? I'm not aware of that, sir. I'm do you know what prompted now? Do you know what prompted uh, the former secretary to return those public records to the public domain? Uh, we sent a letter to Secretary Clinton, as well as to Secretaries Rice. Powell and Albright and asked them if they had any records that they might have that might have been generated on non-department systems that should be part of our official records. How were you able to comply with FOIA requests in that almost two-year interim between the time you wrote the letter and the time that she retained care, custody, and control of all of those public records? Um, sir, um, Emails are not the only records. Right, but it's part of the use. record. So if you received a FOIA request that would have included emails, how would you have been able to comply with that FOIA request, given the fact that you had neither care, custody, nor control of those records? Well, we would still search all of our records, and we would still uh, look at things like cables, decision memos, uh, other types of documents that we keep. Uh, to provide a record of what we do, agendas. So you would have given what you had, but you would have made no representation that what you provided was complete, because necessarily it could not have been complete because you didn't have the full panoply of public records. Well, we always look at what we have, sir. But right. You can't give it if you don't have it, which then raises the next question I have. I was, I was listening to my uh, friend from Maryland and my friend from Virginia uh, make note of the fact that the former secretary did return uh, emails. Um, what guarantee can you give my fellow citizens that what you have now is the complete public record? Have you been through all of her records to determine what's public and what's private? Uh, we are processing them now. And, and no, we have not completed uh, our you're, review. You're processing uh, 
what was originally on the server, or are you processing what she provided to you? We are processing what she provided to us. Um, do you know what mechanism she would have gone through to determine herself what was public record and what was private, or what may have been a mixed use? Do you, do you know who made that initial determination for the former secretary? Uh, she has told us that she erred on the side of inclusion. Did, so did she tell you that she personally reviewed all of the emails, or did she retain counsel to do so? I'm not aware of uh, whether she personally did it or if she retained counsel. Well, I thank you for answering my questions. I am over time. Uh, suffice it to say, I have a number of additional questions in this uh, area, and perhaps at some point I'll be able to ask them to you. Thank just you. for a moment. I'm out of time, but if the chairman says I'm not, then I'm not. Just one question. Ms. Barr, what emails are you processing for Secretary Powell, Secretary, and Secretary Rice? You said you're processing emails. Oh, uh, for Clinton. For, yeah, I mean, yeah, but what emails are you processing for Secretary Powell? And listen to me. Secretary Powell, any? No. Uh, are you I processing don't. for any for Secretary Rice? No. All right, thank you. I yield back. I'll recognize the gentleman from North Carolina for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I would like to yield my time to the gentleman from South Carolina. I uh, thank my friend from North Carolina. Uh, Ms. Barr, I appreciate you talking with me uh, earlier. I want to pick back up where we uh, were. Um, I, I was seeking uh, some level of assurance uh, from you to the extent that you could give one that what was produced to the State Department did in fact represent the, the full universe of what would be public records. And again, I have no interest in, in private documents. I really could care less. I am interested in making sure the whole public universe is complete. So what assurance can you give the public that uh, that State Department has everything that would be considered a public record from her tenure as Secretary of State? Um, we ha she has assured us that she gave us everything she had. And like we do with um, other federal employees, we have to depend on them. Uh, to provide that information to us. So uh, well, we have the documents, and, uh, you know, we've accepted her assurance that she's given us everything that she had that uh, would should be a part of our official records. Well, you mentioned other federal employees, which, which got me wondering, and I wrote down a list of, of some of the other uh, cabinet level of folks that I have worked with in my, in my time here. Um, Attorney General Holder. Uh, did he have his own server? Are you asking me? I'm asking whoever can answer it. Well, I, I could let you know that Attorney General Holder used an uh, official DOJ account. He, he did. Um, how about uh, new Attorney General Lynch? Same Does she as, have a personal server? Same as, well, same as well. She's using an official DOJ account. What about what about President Obama? Is there any indication? Because if you're going to pursue the theory of convenience, I can't really imagine a busier person on the globe than President Obama. Uh, did he have his own personal server? Ms. Barr? I have no knowledge. Well, well, uh, the reason I'm asking is because you, you said that you're doing it the exact same way you would with any other public official. And, and my point is, uh, because of this arrangement that the former secretary had with herself, you're not in a position to do it the same as you would with any other public official because Vice President Biden and President Obama don't have their personal attorneys going through their emails to decide what to return and what not to return. I, I assume in your position as an apolitical, a non-political, unbiased position. Am I correct in that assumption? Yes, sir. And and I believe the Department of State has an inspector general. Am I right? Uh, yes, and we've asked the inspector general to look into some of these issues. I, uh, we are cooperating with them. I, I know you have, um, and I didn't mean to suggest otherwise. Um, do you know who nominated the current inspector general? Uh, I, I don't have that information at my fingertips, but I can get back to you. You don't have to because it was President Obama. Uh, do you know um, who controlled the Senate when he was confirmed? Do you know what the vote was? 
It was unanimous. No, I, 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 was, I knew you were going to give me that information. It was unanimous. <laughs> those may be the only questions I can answer today, but I do know the answer to those two. President Obama nominated the current Inspector General, and he was unanimously confirmed by a Senate controlled at the time by Democrats, which makes me think that, that he, like you, is a, is a neutral, detached arbiter who is solely interested in separating what should be in the public domain from what should be purely personal. So why not let the Inspector General look at all the records just to make absolutely sure and that way we're not in a position of having to take someone's lawyer's word for it. Why not do that? Well, it was my understanding that oh, are you, you're talking about the email collection, not the entire process. No, I'm, I'm talking about, I mean, I, you have I, been put in the position of having to take a lawyer's word that you have all the public records. And perhaps it's just the cynicism of actually being a lawyer. Um, I'm just wondering who with a fiduciary duty to the public can make sure that the, that the public record is complete. Instead of the former secretary hiring an attorney to do it, why can't the attorney that works for all of us, why can't the inspector general do it? So you're asking me why can't the inspector general uh, make the determination of whether we received all of the emails? Yes. I really can't speculate on that. Well, I'm out of time. Hopefully, I'll get some more time, and we can, uh, we can speculate together after that. I yield back to the chairman.